The snow that accumulates at the headwaters of our river systems over the winter is referred to as snowpack. It's a natural reservoir of frozen water that fills our lakes when it melts. But I think our study and shows that that natural reservoir won't hold as much water under climate change. NCAR scientist Will Weeder says that snowpack is on the decline, mainly because the accumulation season is getting shorter, starting later in the fall and melting earlier in the spring. This past winter is a good example. The Rio Grande headwaters completely melted out on May 16th, more than a month earlier than average. Weeder says the problem will likely get more common and more widespread over time. He used a computer model to simulate snowpack from 1940 to 2100. It showed that by the end of the century, there could be an average of 45 more snow-free days in the Rocky Mountains. We can see this in the real world. We're seeing it in the model, and then when you use the model to make future predictions, it's like, holy smokes, this is alarming. He says the amount of water contained in the snowpack through a typical winter could decline by up to 80% by the end of the century, a result that could be devastating to the water supply in the West. But he says these simulations were run under a high emission scenario with more than double the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere than there is today. It's a future that could very well happen, but can also still be avoided. Hopefully we can collectively make decisions that avoid some of these results. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. The simulations were run on one of the most powerful and respected climate models in the world, NCAR's Community Earth System Model. They ran 100 different simulations with different ocean conditions to better capture the weather patterns of the future.